there, I'm Peter Wolfkamp, resident builder, and welcome to my cottage, my little project. And so this is a 1905, approximately, 95 square metre cottage that when we bought this property, it was in a fairly sorry state. And I guess it's a classic example of a house that without proper care and attention over a period of time, they really do end up looking quite neglected. So what we've had to do with this house has been to well, basically we've done everything from the floor, we've done some repiling, we've done a lot of strengthening, we've put some insulation right throughout the house, I've put a new roof on it, and I've worked on those bits of the house that you don't see. So we ended up stripping out all of the electrical, replacing all of the wiring inside the house, and essentially replacing the distribution board. It's fair to say that almost any renovation or restoration project throws up some unexpected challenges and this cottage is not that much different. Always wondered why the floor sloped away in one corner and after lifting up some of the boards discovered that in fact the bearers were sitting hard on the ground and when I went to take them away well basically they were half rotten so there's a little bit of work to do to repile that corner of the house and dig down the dirt but it also gave me the opportunity of ensuring that I had complete insulation in the underfloor of the house including a vapour barrier. I've stripped all of the interior linings and added insulation to all of the exterior walls and in fact I've insulated a number of the interior walls as well and then because I've been able to get good access to the roof when I replaced the old roofing iron which probably was about 60 or 70 years old then I fully insulated the roof as well. So from an energy point of view I'm hoping that this, despite the fact that it's well over 115 years old, will be almost as good as a new house. This has been a great journey for me and I've really enjoyed, I suppose, being back on the tools, um, doing the stuff that I loved doing when I started as a carpenter 30 years ago. Um, but it's also been interesting because in the end I'm driving this project as well and so I have to make decisions and I, the other day I got to the point where I was thinking there is thinking and doing and while it's really important to do the doing and I just want to finish the architrave, hang the door and that, I've got to keep on top of the thinking as well, the planning. So I think uh, looking back on this project if I had spent more time at the beginning planning and organising and choosing all of my materials and that sort of thing, I probably would have had a better run. Um, and, and that's in a perfect world. In the end, this has still been a really great project. But if I'm going to do it again, and I'd like to do it again, then I would spend a lot more time at the beginning planning and getting organised. And I think as a carpenter, when I'm going to a client and they've got a project that they want to do. If they come to me with all of their ideas, they know what their colours are, they know what design they want, they, they know exactly what they want, that makes my job to get their job finished so much easier.